Well, I know you will all want to join with me in welcoming our distinguished friend and colleague from the National Council of Astronautics, Dr. Haywood Floyd. Now, Dr. Floyd has come up specially to Clavius to be with us today. Hi, everybody. Nice to be back again. Well, first of all, I bring a personal message from Dr. Howell, who has asked me to convey his deepest appreciation to all of you for the many sacrifices you've had to make. And, of course, his uh, congratulations on your discovery, which may well prove to be among the most significant in the history of science. Now, uh, I know there have been some conflicting views held by some of you regarding the need for complete security in this matter. More specifically, your opposition to the cover story, created to give the impression there's an epidemic at the base. <laughs> I understand that uh, beyond it being a matter of principle, many of you are troubled by the concern and anxiety this story of an epidemic might cause to your relatives and friends on Earth. Well, I uh, completely sympathize with your negative views. I found this cover story personally embarrassing myself. However, I accept the need for absolute secrecy in this. And I hope you will too. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of the extremely grave potential for cultural shock and social disorientation contained in this present situation. If the facts were prematurely and suddenly made public without adequate preparation and conditioning. Anyway, this is the view of the Council. The purpose of my visit here is to gather additional facts and opinions on the situation and to prepare a report to the Council recommending when and how the news should eventually be announced. Now, if any of you would like to give me your views and opinions in private, if you like, I'd be only too happy to include them in my report. Well, I think that's about it. Any questions? Dr. Floyd, have you any idea how much longer this cover story will have to be maintained? <laughs> I don't know, Bill. I, I suppose it'll be maintained as long as deemed necessary by the council. And of course, there must be adequate time for a full study to be made of the situation before any thought can be given to making a public announcement. Oh, yes. Uh, as some of you already know, the Council has requested that formal security oaths be obtained in writing from everyone who has any knowledge of this event. Well, were there any more questions? Well, I'm sure we will all want to cooperate with Dr. Floyd as fully as possible. If we are to follow, we must use a submarine. Hello. My name is Cameron. I come from Tillow Comics. Today, the Tillow Comics system has been operational for exactly one year. Happy birthday, Tillow Comics. I am very grateful to all the agents who have helped create and maintain the Tillow Comics system. Without them, there would be no Tillo Comics. And the world would be a less fortunate place. From the bottom of my cipher heart, thank you agents. And thank you strange creatures of the interwebs. I love you. As a birthday present, I give you the Tillow Comics Cypher Operating System. You may get it at system.tillowcomics.org.